Hi guys, uh, welcome back to another video about the Parrot Anafi drone SD card issue. Today I'm going to show you how to resolve this uh, problem, um, dating back to a few weeks when uh, Parrot uh, updated the iOS free flight software, uh, which meant that suddenly any card above 32 gigabyte seemed to show as an SD error and hopefully all in one shot I'll be able to take you through exactly how to resolve these issues. Um, so what I've got in front of me is the controller, Parrot and Afi drone, two SD cards here, one is the original that was supplied from Parrot and the second one is a 64 uh, gigabyte card um, which is having issues on the drone. I'm going to show you how to fix that. Got my phone for the app, got battery and also on my laptop here just quickly to show you the original details that Parrot sent over. I'll run through these in a couple of minutes but um, actually the instructions that they provided uh, were just a little bit off and I'll show you exactly what to do to fix it today. So uh, let's run through this. So first and foremost I'm going to put the 64 gig card in the drone and show you exactly what happens when I uh, put this in. So I'm just going to enter that, power up the drone and also put my phone onto, <coughs> excuse me guys, uh, the controller. So allow, just gonna do a quick check on here. So the drone is just uh, doing its various standard checks. And as you can see, SD card error, if you can see that on there. That's exactly what we were expecting, so that is what we're going to fix now. So let me take you through what that looks like. So I'm going to power off the drone. Okay, remove the battery. Remove the SD card that I'm looking to use. Place that aside. Take the original SD card, put that inside the drone. So you can see that's the 16 gigabyte that was supplied. Close that over. Put it inside the drone, turn that back on, and then go back to the app here. Just let the drone stabilize, or rather initialize. Okay, so you can see on here that the memory card has shown up straight away. So I'm going to go to that memory card. And now in the bottom right hand side, I'm going to click on format. Now this is the important part. On this window here, I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to leave that open. This is the important part. So leaving that open right now, I place my phone down. I'm going to turn the drone off. Remove the battery. Remove that original SD card. Put the new SD card, which is the 64 gig, inside. Going to place the battery pack back on. Initialize the drone, and you can see here I still haven't changed anything on the phone. So the drone is just initiating. So now that that's done, what I'm going to do is press quick format, format, and as you can see here, it's actually going through the format process. Continue, back to the main screen. Ta-da! Why Parrot could not just figure this out in the first place, I have no idea, but I do want to say thanks to all the people on the Facebook Parrot UK forum who, uh, figured this out and who talked through it and also on the various Parrot forums um, who were discussing this actually guided myself through this so no, no credit to me, the other guys actually figured this out and were fantastic at helping uh, get through this process so you can see there 64 gigabytes available thanks to everybody involved this is super super helpful we can now go fly our drones capture as much video as we want and resolving this issue 
Thanks, everybody.